Hi, boys and girls. You're going to listen to a story that's called Quiet, Please, Owen McPhee. Owen McPhee doesn't like to just talk. He loves to talk morning, noon, and night. Even Hannah, his loyal hound dog, gets more than an earful of what Owen has to say. But sometimes all that talking can get in the way of listening. Monday. Remember, scientists, says Mr. Delgado to his students, when it's your turn to make an erupting volcano, do not, I repeat, do not put more than one half of cup of baking soda in the... And Owen McPhee is off to his friends saying, you know, my dog Hannah can smell 100,000 times better than humans. How cool is that? Hey, Marcus, do you think your cat smells better than you? Not that you smell or anything. Uh-oh. Fizz. <laughs> Tuesday. He slowly opened the door and... What did he see, Mrs. Fitzwater? Was there a monster? <sighs> if you're quiet, Owen, we'll soon find out. What if it's not a monster, but a g g g g quiet please, Owen McPhee? Wednesday. Hey, Marcus, I heard you've seen Scorpio's Revenge. Did you like it? Oh, yeah, it was way better than... Owen, Scorpion is the meanest, baddest bad guy on the planet who wants to rule the entire Earth. Owen, let Marcus... Want to know the best part, how it ends? No, 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 don't tell us the end. Scorpion gets crushed by this giant alien foot. Oh, his friends don't look too happy. Quiet! You know what, Owen, says Marcus as he puts away his tray. You talk way too much. What? I don't think I talk too much. Nope, not me. What do you think? Hey, wait, where are you going? Hey, guys, wait for me. But instead of slowing down, they started to speed up. Me? Talk too much? No way. Do you really think I talk too much? Okay, before you answer, let me say it. I just don't get why people think I... This dog is sleeping. Thursday. In the morning, at the McPhee's breakfast table, something strange happens. Not a single word is heard from Owen. He has a bad case of laryngitis. With extra paper and pencils in hand, Owen goes to school determined to write all he won't be able to say. It doesn't take long, though, for Owen to learn that he can't write as fast as he can talk. Where is the White House located? Ooh, I know, I know. It's, it's in Washington, D.C. Owen so badly wants to talk. Or as much as the other kids can talk. Kids all over the playground are talking like, look, look what I found. So I said to her that if she thinks, oh no, if you drop the ball, then the other team's gonna, I got it, catch. Over here. Yes, one more. Owen McPhee cannot talk though. Tired of trying to be heard, Owen heads back to the classroom. I know, she says. It wasn't going to be strong enough anyways. I have an idea to make it better, though, she adds. Would you, could you, could you help me? I'm trying to make something. Owen smiles, and he nods yes. Hey, what are you two doing to our bridge? He wrote, ask Isabella. She'll tell you all about it. And she does. Wow, great idea. 
Owen McPhee is just quietly working. Friday, they're presenting their project and their teacher saying, great teamwork. They won an award for the strongest bridge. There are still times when Owen has an awful lot to say, like when he's on the bus. He said, she said, and then I, and that's why you need to eat your food instead of mine. He was this much taller than me, but I could still. So, um, what do you think? But there are also times when he doesn't. And that's just how Owen likes it. He's writing down on the calendar, laryngitis days, days where he's not going to talk all the time. The end.